very good. Second and two. It's a fake to Freeman. And trying to get Julio Jones involved early. And that's a flag. Marshawn Lattimore in coverage. Lattimore is back. That is a big one-on-one -on -one matchup in this one. We'll hear from Cleet Blakeman. Prior to the pass, holding defense. Number 23. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down, Atlanta. This is the first round pick for the Saints, 11th overall. And a major talent. Marshawn Lattimore going against Julio Jones, one of the great talents. You can see him hook him just a little bit when he didn't have to. But Lattimore is basically going to be all over Julio Jones all night, and that is sort of the feature attraction of this game. Third and six. Trouble down for the Falcons last week. They pick up one. Julio Jones escapes into the open field. Jones inside the 30, running with purpose to the 15-yard line. 38 yards of the talent of Julio Jones. I think Julio Jones has heard enough about the two catches he had last week. Uh -huh. There's even a lurking safety in the middle of the field, and Julio made him look bad, too. <laughs> Goodbye. Forget about it. You're not going to get him on the ground. Somehow you have to get the ball in Julio Jones' hands, and things like that just happen. 52. Falcons take over from the 19. Matt Ryan hit as he puts it up for Julio Jones, and it's out of bounds. And cannot pull those yards with Matt Ryan to Julio Jones. Look what they've done in their 11 games against the Saints, but only three touchdowns. Yeah, and that's the hard part to really explain about Julio Jones, isn't it? I mean, this sort of perfect body, big guy that can jump up in the air and make these great plays, and yet season after season in fantasy football players will tell you, he just doesn't score a lot of touchdowns. First and 15. And Ryan going sideline. It is Jones again. That time working on Lattimore. That one-on-one -on -one coverage complete for a Falcon first down. Gain of 22. Yeah, and you have such a tight split in here that it allows a lot of room on the outside. You can see Julio Jones just sprint to the sideline, and yet he still had four or five yards to work with. How many times do we see receivers pin themselves into about a yard right. box on the sideline? No room to turn around and make that kind of play. Just saw Michael Thomas make one. Julio Jones comes right back. Just two catches for 24 yards last time around. In the game here on Sunday against Minnesota, Xavier Rhodes did a great job defending him. Two for 60 already for Julio. Ryan back to the air. Going that way again. Jones couldn't bring it in as Lattimore had the coverage. And really, Chris, those are the two guys that have to get it going. I know about the run game and all that, but when Jones and Ryan can get going, it takes this Falcons offense to the level we saw them last year. The MVP of the league last year. Trying to get points before the end of the half. First down, he's looking around until he finds Julio Jones crossing to the 48-yard line before man he did. Here we go. So defensive coordinators start looking for the fist bump. <laughs> From the 42, Ryan looking for something. Well, oh, he threw the interception to Lattimore. There's no flag over there. There was a lot of contact. Lattimore's at the 30, and the Saints are going to get the field goal opportunity with four seconds remaining. Marshawn Lattimore's third interception of the season. He is just going to battle the whole time out here on the outside. And then finally, you'll see Julio just sort of drift into no man's land. And Lattimore turned his head around and almost took that one to the house. Thankfully, Julio Jones came back to make that tackle. Boy, that has been part of the problem for this team all season long. Matt Ryan has eight interceptions, two that were clearly his fault, six that were bizarre or tip balls and different things, and Julio is hot. Dylan, I told you. Back to the sideline. Wow, all that hand contact there happened within that five-yard zone. He wasn't out of the five-yard bubble then. Jones is mad. Lattimore is thrilled. And Sean Payton's having another comment. They, they get it to Jones down here. Ryan looking, scrambling. End zone shot is another interception. It's Marcus Williams. Perhaps he'll advise to take it out. Doesn't get the opportunity for the touchback. Jones chatting with the officials. But the Saints taking more pictures. Three consecutive drives. End
Ending in New Orleans interception. We got nothing out of this one here in Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I have no idea what Matt Ryan's doing here. Steps up in the pocket. He sees Julio Jones in the back and so blanketed, right? So covered back here. Now maybe you fire a high shot and let the big Julio Jones go up and get it, but he throws a little lollipop in there. That one, no question about whose fault that one was. Matt Ryan's on that one. Here's Mike Nolan, former head coach in the NFL, well-admired defensive coordinator. Ryan shot with a flag down. Julio Jones hangs on through the big hit. Marcus Williams hit him, but there is a flag down, and it's going to be on the Saints for a hold. And the New Orleans sideline is apoplectic. They thought it was going to be clearly on Jones, but instead the initial indication is a hold on the Saints. Probably had a big time hold. What else? I don't know. Both teams holding defense number 20, pass interference, offense number 11. Those penalties were offset. The replay. Second down. Second down. Take a look at Julio first, right at the top end of the route against Lattimore and man coverage again. Didn't extend the arm, but they're going to call that one a foul. Sean Payton, the uh, attorney on the sideline, may have won the court case. Well, let's just say this. Much like a basketball coach, they've been working this sideline. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, I mean, my rule was always if the arm didn't extend, it's not a foul. Right. If you had the arm bent, you could get away with it. Probably not a rule in the National Football League. Right. This has been one of the big matches we've been watching tonight, Chris. Speaking of outstanding coverage, how about a young rookie coming in against one of the great receivers in the National Football League? That was a foul, no question. Julio Jones got away from him there. But then after that, it became a little bit better for Marshawn Lattimore. Now he gets this one right before the end of the half. Started frustrating Julio Jones a little bit. And head to head here tonight, you would say, would you take that? If you're the New Orleans Saints, you better believe it. <laughs> That's right. Man to man against Julio Jones, you better believe it. Prior to the pass, holding defense number 23. The five yard penalty from the previous spot, automatic first down. Going to get the matchup one more time out of here. And Adam Moore, you're playing this guy, you, you do what you can. <laughs> It's getting a little chippy out there between those two. Julio Jones calling for the flag. But it was interesting. They brought in Justin Hardy, who's really known as a blocker amongst the wide. Deep in the secondary, as there was a lot of running around going on. The second time we've seen Lattimore getting some oxygen. Interesting, we saw him getting some oxygen earlier, Chris, and you made the point. He's missed the last couple of games, so obviously his conditioning, not what it would be at this point. Yeah, and some of these long drives now starting to take their toll just a little bit. I, but you wonder whether or not Matt Ryan is picking up on the fact that Lattimore is out of the game because and it's really tough to play that in man coverage. This will be the first pass of this drive. Ryan strokes it in the middle and Jones has it for the first down inside the 15 Julio to the 13 yard line. So they're going to allow him to come all the way across the field, but if you don't get some superior protection, you don't get this much time to make that play. Just a three-man rush that time. They checked to his zone. I think once they went into that bunch formation, the Saints checked to his zone defense, but the protection held up in a big first down. Four catches for Jones. Lattimore getting more oxygen. Yeah, Lattimore struggling to get oxygen in his body. This is... It gets tough when you're out there and you've been on the field for some of these long drives and you haven't been able to train, obviously. And so now third down conversion team in the league. Pressure comes. Ryan throws first down. Julio Jones catch and run to the 33 yard line. Well, they did it again, Mike. Yep. That time they motioned to the bunch formation so they didn't tip it to the Saints defense and continue to create problems over here. Motion. Now you get this route coming in. There is just a little bit. You have to play a little bit softer. You saw Marshawn Latimer, who's been up in the face of Julio Jones this whole game. Now you go into the bunch formation. He backs off just a little bit, creates some space, big first down. Breeze looking. Enzo shot is intercepted <laughs> by Deion Jones. And the Atlanta Falcons are going to get out of here with one of those roll up your sleeve 
Atlanta New Orleans NFC South battles.